sins which God gave to Adam and Eve, they do not apply to us in Christianity today. But there is something from the Adamic covenant that is left over that the Lord Jesus Christ brought into the New Testament. This does apply to us today, and that is marriage. As we follow marriage throughout the five covenants of the Bible and the two testaments of the Bible, we realize that man was under the law of marriage that God gave to Adam until the days of Moses. Moses is the very first testament of the Bible. We call it the Old Testament. And in the Old Testament, Moses then allowed for divorce. Now, it was not in any previous covenants. In Adam's covenant, there was no divorce. In Noah's covenant, there was no divorce. In Abraham's covenant, there was no divorce. But Moses, in the fourth, he allowed divorce. We realize when asked the question in Matthew 19, the Lord Jesus Christ responded, Moses gave this commandment to Israel alone because of the hardness of the heart. They did not know how to forgive. But then the Lord Jesus Christ brought the Adamic covenant and the teaching that he gave to Adam alive to Christianity. And he said, for this purpose shall a man leave father and mother, and he'll cleave to his wife. There is no divorce even in Christianity, except now Christ gave a clause for fornication. We realize that if there is no fornication, then there is no allowance for divorce. The Bible says we are married until death. In Romans chapter 7, we have the understanding that we are bound by the law of God, which is the Ten Commandments, until we give up the ghost. So marriage is a very honorable thing. And it's a lifelong commitment. We realize that when somebody is joined to another person, the two will become one. And the Word of God then instructs us that no man is allowed to separate what God has joined together. Today in our society, people ignore the commandment of God and husbands separate from their wives and wives separate from their husbands because they think they're justified in the thought, I don't love you anymore. But I want you to realize that before somebody can reach that point, they've already fallen out of love with God. And then they reach that point well, I want us to understand today that the Lord Jesus Christ, in his ministry, he was asked to attend a wedding. The Bible says in John chapter 2, it was the third day of the wedding. We don't have our celebration for so long today. But the third day of the wedding, the Lord Jesus Christ blessed that wedding ceremony with his presence. And today we're also asking Christ to bless this wedding ceremony mm -hmm. with his presence. Yes. We need the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ, not only in the ceremony, but in the marriage. Yes. And I thank God that this couple today being joined together, they're going to be joined by the will of God, by the word of God. So that we understand that what God has joined together, 
No man is allowed to separate. The blessing of God will remain and abide with this family as the Lord prepares them for their journey from earth to glory. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here to, today in the sight of God and in the face of this company to join together this man and this woman. To be joined together in holy matrimony, which is commended of St. Paul to be honored and honorable among all men. And therefore, is not to be by any to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, discreetly, advisedly, soberly, and in the fear of God. Into this holy estate, these two persons present come now to be joined. If any man can show any just cause why they may not lawfully be joined together, let him now speak or else hereafter forever hold his peace. I require and charge both of you as you will answer at the dreadful day of judgment, when the secrets of all hearts shall be disclosed, that if either of you know any impediment, why you may not be lawfully joined together in matrimony, you do now confess it. For be well assured that if any persons are joined together otherwise than God's word doth allow, their marriage is not lawful by the word of God. Richard, wilt thou have this woman to be wedded as thy wife to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? And wilt thou love her, comfort her, <laughs> honor and keep Sorry. her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep thee only under her as long as you both shall live. Amen. Anna, wilt thou have this man to be thy wedded husband to live together after God's ordinance in the holiest state of matrimony? Wilt thou obey him and serve him, love, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others? Keep thee only unto him as long as ye both shall live. Amen. Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? I am. Amen. I, Richard, take thee, Anna, I, Richard, take thee, Anna, to be my wedded wife, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, 
from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance, according to God's holy ordinance, and thereto I plight thee my troth, and thereto I plight thee my troth. Amen. That's enough. I Anna. I Anna. Take thee, Richard. To be my wedded husband, to have and to hold, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love, cherish, and obey. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I plight thee my troth. And thereto I plight thee my troth. Amen. Father God, as we hold these rings, let it be a memory to Richard and to Anna as these rings are placed upon their finger, Lord, that their love is endless, eternal, bound up in the mystery of God, that you will grant unto them a blessing Every time this ring comes into their sight, that they are bound one to another by the word of God, by the spirit of God. And let this blessing be upon them, Lord, as a reminder of eternal love in Christ Jesus' name. This ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed, and with all my worldly goods, and with all my worldly goods, I thee endow, I thee endow, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, of the Holy Ghost, Amen. This ring, I do win, and with all my worldly goods, I thee endow, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Beloved, let us pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us day by day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Lord, we want to praise you and thank you for this time. Lord, that this couple is being joined together. We pray that your spirit would abide with them, comfort them, lead and direct. We pray that you will help them through the rough seasons, the good and the bad times, that they'll hold up Christ, Father God, and hold on to the will and the ways of the Most High throughout this marriage. And they'll be a witness unto many they'll be used by God as a sign and a wonder that people will come to the knowledge of the Most High through this union today. That God's blessing would bear fruit not only in their lives but in the lives of many. We thank you Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Those whom God has joined together, let not man put asunder. For as much as Richard and Anna have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company, and thereto have given and pledged their troth each to the other, and have declared the same by giving and receiving a ring and by joining hands. I pronounce that they are man and wife. And this is in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. We only pray that God's presence, his will and his ways be ever bound up in your heart. That God's grace will lead you in your vows as it's virtually impossible for people to keep vows today only by the grace of the Most High. And may the Spirit of God enlighten you, encourage you, enrich you in your journey from earth to glory. We thank God for the both of you. Can we stand? I want to now present to this great congregation this man and this woman, they're about to sign the documents of marriage, along with our witnesses.
Present to this congregation, Mr. and Mrs. Chua.